Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and I do have a news update for you guys. So after a long period of silence, finally we've seen uh, one of the Sotar devs come on the forums and give us a post about what we can expect regarding content and new gameplay stuff with it with the upcoming updates and we do actually have game update 5.7 that will be released on january 23rd this one is called legacy of the creators and obviously we're going to be getting the new operation boss saiva which will be available in story and veteran mode now rather surprisingly we are actually getting some other new content which is going to be returning companions there will be three returning companions in this update we'll get Risha and Corso which will be for the smuggler and Andronicus which will be for the Sith uh, Inquisitor and these will actually be class specific companion returns so only Inquisitors will get back Andronicus only smugglers will get back Risha and Corso which means it looks like they are turning away from the whole you know every class gets to have access to every companion and they're turning once again to class specific stuff this is cool i just hope they actually go to class specific stories as well i'd love to see a return to that rather rather than this one story fits all kind of thing also while i bet this is going to make some people happy uh you know getting back risha and corso and stuff we also aren't seeing some of the more popular companions returning yet namely kira and jaysa those are some of the more popular companions that i know a lot of people really want returned we haven't seen their names come up just yet in this update but they have confirmed they'll be coming in the very very near future so maybe in the next few updates we'll see them i do believe uh, kira and scourge's ret return has actually been data mined already we don't really have much information but it is confirmed that they are returning very soon now in this update we'll also get a few various bug fixes and updates not a big deal but then also we'll of course be getting the new cartel pack now this one also has not been data mined yet which is unfortunate usually i don't know we, we get the cartel market items a few weeks beforehand it looks like this is going to be some sort of late data mining however we do actually have one of the new companions data mine this was actually put up on reddit uh, a few weeks ago and so i'll show you guys the image now it looks pretty cool this is a new companion it's going off the droid design that you'll see in the dread palace and dread fortress operation I do also believe that there's a very similar armor set you can get to this so it's kind of cool uh, definitely if you know we're getting these types of high quality items maybe this new cartel pack is going to be cool or it could also be full of reskins we'll have to wait and see but ultimately that's kind of the stuff we're getting in the new game update 5.7 now once again January 23rd but it's not too big not too great nothing too exciting they have actually hinted though at what we'll be seeing in the very very near future Specifically, Eric Musco confirmed that Keith is now working on the new roadmap for 2018 and we'll be getting that in a few weeks. And that will obviously outline the future direction of the game going into the new year. Uh, will that give us the expansion information even as to whether we're getting an expansion? I sure hope so. I'm really holding on that we'll get some hint that there actually is going to be an expansion because that way it'll just kind of confirm our theories and that way we can look forward to something in the future. Uh, if not, then I'll be disappointed. Usually if we're going to get expansion information like a trailer or something, it's going to be released in the summer. So there's kind of a long time to wait, but just knowing that that's coming would be very awesome. So hopefully we'll see that in the roadmap of course we're going to be getting the new flashpoint which is going to be the conclusion or it should be the conclusion to theron sean's whole uh or spoiler alert theron sean's whole betrayal of the alliance and we're going to get a concluding chapter that to that as to why he did that and perhaps you know we're probably going to get a chance to kill him or spare him so um there is that flashpoint to look forward to still not a lot of content so i'm kind of irked about that but whatever at least we're getting something hope you guys are enjoying the game that's kind of what you can look forward to in the coming few weeks i uh, hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one